Hello everyone, my name is Aarti and you are watching HW News. The movements regarding takeover of NDTV by Adani Media Group have been going on for the last few months. But matters escalated yesterday with new developments. Radhika Roy and Pranay Roy, founders of NDTV and pioneers of TV news media in India, resigned from the board of RRPR with effect from 29th of November. Pranay Roy is the chairperson of NDTV and Radhika Roy is an executive director. According to the filings sent to Bombay Stock Exchange by Company Secretary Parinita Duggal, the board of RRPR Holding, that is Radhika Roy and Pranay Roy Holding, has approved the appointment of Sudipta Bhattacharya, Sanjay Pugalia and Senthil Chengalvaryan as directors on its board with immediate effect. This came a day after the NDTV promoter group informed the stock exchange that it had transferred 99.5% of its equity capital share to Vishwa Pradhan Commercial, also known as VCPL. This group, VCPL, was bought by Adani Media Group in August, setting off the process of NDTV takeover in motion. Since RRPR holds 29.18% stake in NDTV, Adani is now the owner of 29.18% of NDTV. Apart from this, Adani has also made an open offer for another 26% stake in the news channel. This open offer kicked in from November 22nd and since then the offer is gathering steam. Shareholders of NDTV corporate bodies have tendered 39,35,000 equity shares of the media company. Furthermore, retail shareholders have also tendered as many as 7,07,000 equity shares. This is quite interesting because the open offer price for NDTV shares was for 294 rupees, almost 100 rupees less than the current market price of NDTV shares, which is around 406 rupees. The list of shareholders of NDTV include little known corporate bodies like Confirm Real Build, Adesh Broking House, Grid Securities, and Rolia agencies that own more than 1% each, while their cumulative holding is at 7.13% or nearly 46 lakh equity shares. Furthermore, only Drolia agencies and Adish Broking House have been holding shares of NDTV for one year, while the other two entities are relatively newer entrants. The question is, does that mean that Adani has taken control of NDTV? Well, the answer is not yet. According to reports, Radhika Roy and Pranay Roy still hold 32.26% stake in the NDTV. Now, let's have a look at who are the new board members of RRPR. There are three new board members known as Adani's men in the RRPR board of directors. Let us talk about two of them. Sanjay Pugalia is a veteran journalist and is also editorial director at Quintilian Business Media Limited, a business and financial news company. Pugalia is the chief executive officer and editor-in-chief of AMG Media. Adani Enterprises inducted the veteran journalist as the CEO and editor-in-chief to lead the group's media initiative in 2021. Last September, Pugalia, a veteran journalist, stepped down as the president of the Quint Digital Media Limited and he was appointed by Adani Enterprises as CEO and editor-in-chief to lead the group's media-related initiatives. Pugalia has launched and headed CNBC Awas for 12 years. As news director, Pugalia set up Star News in Hindi and he was also a part of the founding team of Ajtak. The other name in the board of directors is Senthil Chengalvaryan. He is also a trusted name in India's business journalism. He comes with over 35 years of experience in business news journalism and was the founding editor of CNBC TV18. Chengalvaryan has also been the editor-in-chief of Network 18's business newsroom. However, Adani's bid to take over NDTV has evoked skepticism in the Indian media landscape even as he says that NDTV takeover is more of a responsibility. His takeover bid has been termed as hostile and invoked press freedom fears. Reacting to the latest development, Congress leader Randeep Singh Surjewala tweeted, Goodbye Dr. Pranay Roy, we will miss you and your incisive independent journalism. Thank you for creating a news channel amongst the din and noise of servitude and servility. Well, one has to see what happens next, but whatever the case may be, the developments will surely be a definitive moment for Indian media industry. Do let us know what you think about this in the comment box below. For more news and updates, you can log on to www.hwnews.in. Now be the first to know about the latest updates on our new news app. Go on your Android or iOS, Search for HW News Network. Download our app, choose the language you prefer to get updates in and be up to date with the latest news.